Hey, happy Thursday, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Me, myself, I just got done feeding and walking my doggy, so my nose is like a little bit pink because it's cold outside because like even though I live in the south, like the winter is still like a real thing here. Crazy, right? Coming from Texas, I didn't know that North Carolina had winter, but they really legit have a winter here. And my little pink nose shows you that it really does have winter here because it's cold. So I wanted to talk today about speaking up, learning to find your voice in a noisy world. This is such an important topic, whether or not you are an entrepreneur, whether you work in a normal job, or even if you are only just a student, learning to speak up and find yourself Find your voice is so, so critical to your general well-being, how well you succeed, and really so many things in life. So it's such an important thing to talk about. And I wanted to bring it up because I get a lot of friend requests every day. And um, I have a lot of affiliate marketers in my, in my little circle, my bubble. And so I'm looking through these friend requests and... Before I accept a friend request, I need to make sure, one, that the person's a real person. There's a lot of fake profiles out there, usually with somebody with a really attractive picture, and they might have Forex or gold or Bitcoin in their name, or you look and like, anyway, so there's fake profiles. So anyway, before I accept people's friend requests, I take a look at their profile, and I scroll through their posts and, and make sure, try to make sure that they're a legitimate person. And what I've started to see is a whole lot of people with very similar, if not identical, value posts. You know, the ones that are giving you some sort of business advice or some sort of marketing advice, and they're just like the same recycled, like literally recycled words and things, and they usually pair it with... Um, a 3D photo, and for one reason, I don't know why people don't smile in their photos, for goodness sakes, but um, they've usually posted of a 3D photo with them, not smiling, in their car, like whatever, and it's the same recycled value post, right? And, and so what, maybe the first time somebody posted this and someone read it, it was like, wow, this is actually pretty valuable. But the 300th time you've seen it from a different person, you know, with the same words, it's old, right? It's old, it's stale. It's like, you're not finding your voice if you're recycling other people's value posts and copying their content. You are just, a, you know, just another generic marketer out there trying to sell people, trying to get people in your program, trying to get a commission. And it doesn't work. And so I'm sure that the people who are doing that are saying, I am doing exactly what my mentor told me to do. I'm copying their posts, I'm copying their value posts, I'm copying what other people that are successful are doing, and I'm not getting any sales. Why am I not getting any sales? I'm not getting any sales because you're not unique and no one knows who you are, right? No one knows who you are, nothing's unique about you because you're not, you're not sharing your voice. You're sharing someone else's voice and what someone else said, hey, this works and this will get you sales. But it doesn't get you sales because people want to know that you're a real person with real ideas, with a real personality, with real likes, with real dislikes, whatever, right? Not just, hey, do you want to learn how to make 10K this month? Hey, here's some generic value. You know, who wants to learn how to make $5,000 this week? Like, ugh. Like, who are you, right? Like, why would I trust that you were going to teach me how to make $5,000 this week or $10,000 this month or a million dollars this year or whatever it is you're promising, right? Like, you don't have a voice. And so you're not going to be successful until you develop a voice. And that's whether you're in business, whether you're in school. Like, if you're in school and you're just the person who sits in the background and never says anything or you just regurgitate what other people say, like, you're, you know, that's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get you into the best colleges. It's not going to get you the best boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever. You're just, you know, you're like a copy, like a bad copy of someone else. So it's so, so, so important to find your voice. And who cares? Guess what? You're going to find your voice. A lot of people are scared. Well, what if people don't like me? What if I speak up and someone doesn't like what I say and they're mean to me? Guess what? 
You are never going to be everyone's cup of tea. Ever, 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 ever. There's always going to be people who don't like you for either a reason or no reason at all. Even if you hide and try and make yourself really, really small, there's still going to be people who don't like you. So you might as well just find your voice, speak up, so that your people who are your tribe can find you and those that aren't going to be your peeps can get missing, right? And there's, I have some really great examples of people who are really, really, really good at this, right? Really good at this. And I bring this up, like, it's, it's such a thing that so many people struggle with. So I bring it up. Um, Jacob Karras, who is one of my mentors, and um, he has this very successful program called Super Affiliate Accelerator, SAA. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. Jacob is unapologetically Australian. He has a strong Australian accent. He uses strong language. He doesn't sugarcoat. He doesn't BS. He doesn't try to put the polish on, on anything. He just tells it like it is. And because of that, his people, people that are attracted to him, flock to him, right? They flock to his offers. They buy his stuff. They watch his YouTube videos that come out every day when he sends them an email. And the people who aren't his cup of tea, like, stay far away from him. But he's got plenty of people that are his cup of tea that he is a seven-figure a year earner. He has done incredibly well for himself and continues to launch new programs that do well. And he does it because he has found his voice and he's not trying to please people that aren't his people, which is really, really awesome. And it's so important. You know, Russell Brunson's another one of those, right? He talks like a million miles a minute. He, you know, does his thing. He talks about funnels and marketing all day, every day. And if you are not the kind of person that likes somebody who talks really fast and likes somebody who talks about funnels and marketing and offers and all this stuff, like Russell Brunson's not going to be your guy, right? But Russell Brunson makes millions and millions of dollars. And so he doesn't care that he's not your guy if that's not what you're into, right? You notice, look, Elon Musk, right? He just surpassed Jeff Bezos as the richest man in the world. He's a multi, multi billionaire with a B. Elon Musk is very much Elon Musk. There's no one like him. I mean, he didn't like the way that there wasn't a space program moving as fast as he wanted. So he developed his own. He, you know, made Tesla cars and he didn't care that nobody, nobody was interested or the big car companies weren't saying that you could make a battery powered car that would be your only car. Like he just doesn't care. Like if he wants to do something, if he wants to create something, he just does it. And because of that, everything he's done has been wildly successful. People jump on board, but they want a part of what this crazy guy is doing because, you know, he's just so himself and he doesn't care. He does not lose any sleep over anyone who doesn't like him. He doesn't lose a, he doesn't lose a wink of sleep. You never see Elon Musk tweet about like, oh my God, what if people don't like me? Like he doesn't give a rat's behind, right? And so he's so here's somebody who's found his voice and, and he's out there and he's the richest man in the world. So let's talk about people who haven't found their voice. You know, they're probably in, you know, jobs where they don't speak up and they probably haven't had a raise in a million years and they just go home and complain to their family about how no one will give them a raise and and no one will give them a leg up and they don't get anywhere because they haven't learned to speak up and find their voice right they haven't learned to say hey i'm here and this is what i can offer this is what i'm here to offer the world hey i'm here pay attention to me right they haven't done that they haven't learned to do that they haven't said hey i have an idea right this idea could make the company millions of dollars. Hey, listen to me, right? They have it. They're like, oh, what, if, what are people going to think, right? Who cares what people are going to think, right? Who cares if they think your idea is dumb? Who cares? Who cares? You're not going to die. Regardless of what your brain says, you're not going to die. You're not going to die by, by finding your voice. In fact, the only thing that can happen from finding your voice is you become more of who you are you grow into 
what it is that you, the unique thing that you were born to create in this world, and you rock it. That is what happens when you find your voice. That is the only thing that happens when you find your voice is amazing things in a sense of freedom, a sense of freedom that cannot be felt by hiding in the background and hoping someone will call on you. So whoever you are, whatever capacity you work in, whatever capacity you want to create in, whatever's been holding you back from just speaking up, from just putting yourself out there, resolve to break that chain today. So let's say you've been wanting to speak up about something and you're like, well, I could go live on Facebook, but you always talk yourself out of doing it. Like, oh, I can't, what are people gonna think? What if they think I look fat? What if they think my makeup's not right? What if they think my hair's not right? Like whatever, like who cares? Just do it, just do it. If you have an idea at your company and you were like, oh, I can't speak up about that, whatever, I can't do it. You know what, your homework is to speak up, to set a meeting with your boss. If you've had this big idea that's just been burning a hole, but you can't do it because you're scared to speak up, set a meeting and speak up. Set that meeting. That's your homework. Set that meeting, right? And if you're a marketer and you're doing your business on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is, whatever you're doing your business, your homework is when you're posting today and from now on, you are not, 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 not to go copy somebody else's crap, to go post hack, you know, kind of like funnel hacking, post hack somebody else's post, like your homework is to just speak from your heart and put it out there and take the picture that you want to take. Not the one that you think it looks cool. It doesn't have to be put into a stupid 3d photo. Like put what you want. If you stick your tongue out, right? Do it, right? Do it. Be you. And I promise you, you are going to attract more people who want to be around you, who want to talk to you, who want to do business with you, than you ever have posting somebody else's recycled stuff. All right, so you got your marching orders, get out there and do it. <laughs> and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Have a great one.